What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out 2022 Topps Chrome Baseball Doubleheader Hobby Two Case Break uh, Random Teams Number Three. And anyway, it says 24 boxes plus 24 silver packs. Now again, silver packs are live here. We got them in yesterday, so we'll open up the 24 packs at the end of the break. And of course, the cards that pop out of the silver packs will be distributed to the teams in the break. As an example, you know, not not every card is supposed to be a short print extended base. So if we pull a Bryce Harper. And a Julio in a silver pack. Of course, Phillies and Mariners, you would get those hits. So, of course, uh, they made these special silver packs because they forgot uh, to put... Uh, not forgot, I think it was just a mistake. They mistakenly forgot to put the uh, the extended rookie short print base in the product originally. So, they created these special silver packs. So, they put in extra cards in there because, of course, you know not every pack is supposed to have a rookie uh, extended base short print. But, of course, other teams will be getting a little extra base and silvers and stuff like that now again 30 total spots everybody gets around the team MLB remember no vet based ships so here we go here's a dice roller here's the customer names from Chad down to Jeremy and then we have of course Zona down to Washington roll it we got a three and a two five times good luck one two three four five All right, two, uh, three, two, five. Jose at the top, down to Steven. Five times. One, two, three, four, five. Cincinnati Reds down to the Washington Nationals. All right, so five times, five times, five times. So, Jose, you got the Cincinnati Reds. Chad with the San Diego Padres. Riley with the White Sox. Chad with the Rays. And the St. Louis Cardinals. Zach, Paul with the Astros. Kevin with the Orioles. Mark with the A's. Chad with the Brewers. Emma with the Phillies. Uh, Greg with the uh, Marlins. Um, Sean Maddock with the Mets. Mickey with the Dodgers. Tim with the Red Sox. Joe with the Braves. David with the Yankees, Corey with the Red, uh, Rockies, sorry, Chad with the Blue Jays, as well as the Diamondbacks and the Pirates, Zach Paul with the Texas Rangers, Jeremy Parr with the Tigers, Jeremy R with the Ra uh, Giants, sorry, we got Monte with the Saint, uh, Kansas City Royals, and then Bill with the Seattle Mariners, Sean with the Angels, Chad with the Cubs, David with the Twins, Michael L with the Guardians, and Stephen Carney with the Washington Nationals. And again, guys, like I said, no, tr I mean, sorry, not trades. Trade window's open if anybody wants to complete a trade. I'm just going to go grab those silver packs really quick. And then by the time I get back, if no trade proposals or anything like that, we'll just call it and start the break. Also, it looks like Bennett just sold out the elements filler. So we will be doing the elements tonight, and that'll be our last break of the night. All right, Coolio. Yeah, Mickey, anybody want to trade for the... You got the Dodgers if you want to trade.
All right, anybody gonna get the trade in, guys, or no? I'm actually gonna only keep one case on the table. <clears throat> We'll get that next one when we're ready to roll. All right, Mickey, would you want the O's from Kevin? If not, I'm closing it, man. Stick to what you got. All right. TWC, then. All right, folks, here we go. So, like I said, I'll most likely um, do six boxes at a time. I'll rip them, and we'll go through them, and then we'll go through the next six. But, like I said, guys, it'll pretty much keep us busy for the next two hours. Now, we're able to squeeze in that elements right now, so that way I can do that right at the end. So, that'll pretty much be it for us, folks. Um, back tomorrow, and I'll, again, I'll start again at 2 o'clock. A little hour earlier. cards. Stuck. See this? I think some of the cards might be damaged though. Okay, maybe not. Oh yeah, this one was damaged. So they try to seal it with this card. So that Yankee Rizzo card is definitely eating up. I think everything else is fine though. Yeah Rex, you stay with me? All night long? All night long, all night. Why don't you guys do inventory the first, the first, uh, last of the month, Rex? Why are you guys doing inventory on the seventh? 
we do our inventory on the 30th and 31st. So that way on the 1st is done. A new month. Oh, you guys only do it once a year? You don't gotta complain, Rex. It's only once a year. I'm sure you've worked all weekend before anyways. You know, I was wondering, Rex, you probably know this. For perishables, and I mean, obviously, just like the fresh, fresh, like, groceries, like, you know, fruit and, and vegetables. How long do they keep them out on the floor before they take them to the back? Like, I assume every market doesn't sell out of everything, right? So milk eventually gets, goes to waste, right? Like, how, how does that work? You know. It's like for milk, for instance, right? You, you put out the new batches of milk. It's like, d does milk really actually, like, sell out pretty fast enough where, like, you don't really waste any? I assume not. And same thing with, like, vegetables and fruit, right? Not every banana is going to get picked out, right? Or in every... That's apples, oranges, you know, onions, etc. Cause like let's say like for milk for instance right, let's say I went to uh, to the grocery store yesterday right. I went to go get some milk. I basically they basically have uh, milk that doesn't expire for like two weeks out basically. Right, so it's like I never hardly ever see like milk that's close like less than a week or even a week and a half. Usually it's like they're gone by then. So I assume either they sell it out or like you just said right, they probably. I don't even know if they mark it down. They probably just they probably just throw them away, right? I mean, obviously it has to go to waste, right? So no milk can be put out with at least 10 days or it has to be marked out. Gotcha. Yeah, I think every grocery store is a little different depending on the grocery store. I feel like some grocery stores can just leave a lot of shit out that probably about six fire because they just hope people buy it and then that's pretty much it but yeah i was just wondering how much actually milk 
how much milk doesn't get sold to the sense that you just have to throw it away. Because I assume, like I said, not every gallon of milk gets uh, purchased, so if it's been less than 10 days, you just throw it away, right? I mean, I guess the margins would probably be pretty big anyways from a grocery store, I assume. Or yeah, donations, that's right. Well, that's what I'm saying. Then I assume it just depends on the area. I feel like milk and that stuff probably doesn't really go to waste because people obviously, they have families and kids especially. Milk is pretty popular in the sense, so. But yeah. That's what I'm saying. I don't really ever see milk be less than like 10 days on the, mar on, on the shelves. Oh, that's right, Wick. Yeah, they have, there's, there's a lot of those around there, too. Well, probably not here in Hermosa, but <laughs> in other areas of L.A., for sure. Mas, guys, and then we can uh, start going through this. Has any of the bigger rookies, has anybody seen, guys, any of the bigger rookies super fractures been pulled already? I know we pulled a couple reds, like a Bobby Wood red and stuff like that, but has there been any super fractures pulled of these big guys yet? So I'll post on Facebook that a guy pulled a Wander die cup. There's a die. There's autographs in this. Probably like Easter eggs or something like that. Like surprises. Yeah. All right, here we go, guys. First six boxes of the first case. Right, so 
Trey Turner. We got Patrick Wisdom. And some of the cards will still be a little stuck, unfortunately, but... Not this one. Jackson Reitz to start us off. That's a rookie autograph for the Brewers to 250. And a Max Fry uh, Freed. O'Neill Cruz for Chad. The refractor. I don't know actually. I I haven't. I don't know exactly what you can actually pull out of those. And we got Stuart Farchild or Fairchild, sorry. Uh, Diamondbacks going to Chad. Nice pool is Dodgers edition orange wave. Try to trade, could have trade Mojo. Going to Mickey. That's a 9 out of 25. Alright, so there's the first box. Let's go with the next one. Judge, Joe Musgrove, Padres, uh, it's going to Chad, Matt Olson the Maverick to two fifty for the Phillies. Going to Emma. Little Mookie for the Dodgers. Two ninety nine. La Cruz. All right, next one here. And China. Zach Pop. Miami. It's going to Greg. We got Reese Hoskins. A little Wander Franco base. Milwaukee, heart of the city. And a San Martin 
to the Cincinnati Reds. To 150. Jake Berger, White Sox winner Riley. Nice so O'Neill Cruz right there. A little hyper. Atlanta, Heart of the City. Jazz Chisholm. Part of the city, Lotto. And Brian Reynolds for Pittsburgh. That's an orange. Number 12 out of 25. Pittsburgh, that's going to Chad. Joe Ryan for the Minnesota Twins. Going to David to 99. Next two here, guys. Here we go. Zach Thompson, DJ LeMayu Green, number to 99. Showtime. Royce Lewis, uh, that was to 199. Kyle Lewis, to 75. Mariners. You got Casey Mize to 399. For Detroit, going to Jeremy. And a Jazz Chisholm, very nice. Blue for the Marlins. Going to Greg. Oliver Ortega. Angels.
and Trey Amber. Cincinnati Reds. That is going to Jose to two fifty. Nice Carlos Correa there. Astros orange, orange wave eleven out of twenty five. Alrighty, so there you go. That's the first half right there. There's the auto so far. Some good colors. And, uh, well, like I said, we'll do an autograph recap at the end, but let me put all the color cards together. Everything else will keep separate. Third box, guys. So remember, guys, this will probably take about another hour and a half, probably. It should be done by, by 10. 
like 10.30 probably. And then uh, by the time I put everything away, we'll get the elements team random going. And then we'll do elements and then that'll pretty much be it for us folks. Alrighty, one more box and then we'll start ripping through these. Then 
we'll bring on the next case. I think we're making pretty good time though. Alrighty guys, here we go. Freddie Freeman. And Cal Rally at a 350. We got another home run today. A little showtime. Our first auto ride with Aid. Redemption. Have a Luis Gill to two ninety nine. All right, let's see who this autograph is. Veteran autograph for Fracker parallel of Tyler Stevenson for the Cincinnati Reds. So there you go, Cincinnati. That's going to Jose. All right, next box. Tyler Glass now to one ninety nine. We have Brandon Woodruff Yeah, well, yeah, I mean, if, if Brandon Davis, Volpe, and those guys, you know, obviously get called up, you know, I would assume that they would be up in the next... Like, like that kind of... Those kind of ones. Because, I mean, like, is Keston Herstad close to being up here already? Or has he been playing already? Like, I don't think he's a rookie yet, even though he was just a first, like, last year. Like, it'll probably be these, those kind of guys, I'd assume. If, like, Austin Martin gets a chance, those guys might be rookies, too. I'm not sure how, how close they are, though. Spencer Strider for the Braves. All 
Adolis Garcia, a little negative. I know Volpe was 2020 because he's the same one with Witt and, and uh, Dominguez. I want to say Herstad, if he was, he wasn't until like Bowman Chrome. Or, like I said, the beginning of 2021 with draft. I don't remember, though. But I know for sure Volpe was 2020. It was like Volpe, Dominguez, Witt, Robert Pawson. That's another name, too. I don't know if Robert Pawson's ready. It all just depends on these guys, where they're at. Purple. Brady Singer. I got stuck. Royals. To 50. Kansas City Royals, that is Monte. Showtime. Yankees All right, three more boxes over here. Eli Morgan. Dyson. Cubbies going to Chad. Joey Wendell. And Devers, little relic, club threads. That is for the uh, Boston Red Sox in 10. Anthony Rendon. All right, two more boxes and then we'll go on to the next case. Gabriel Urias. Guardians picking up the dub today, too, over the uh, Tampa Bay Rays. Guardians is Michael. Purple. Alec Baum.
and Zach Pop for the Miami Marlins. Greg. Greg. Uh, Jonathan, I have not done the silver packs yet. We're going to do those at the end once we do the two cases. To 50, Andrew McCutcheon. No, John. The only tops chrome, the only tops chrome we had was this double header. So, at least I wouldn't have done them here. On Instagram, we're selling boxes. So when people buy a box, we are giving them a pack, and if they want to open it, we can open it. But uh, I personally haven't ripped any here, and I haven't personally ripped any at all. Actually, I sold out my hip packs yesterday, so I didn't really do any tops chrome on personals yesterday. Here, law for the twins to two fifty. But we're almost there. I'm basically done with the first case. Jonathan Bender. Or Anthony Bender. So once I get done with the second, I'll rip some of those. Reed Detmer's blue. It's 150. But if you're asking if we've done any in breaks though, Jonathan, I think Joe did all the pick your teams from uh, pick your team one to whatever hobby and jumbo yesterday. So there's like this 40 minute video posted on the on the Jaspie's YouTube channel. You can watch all of those. Uh, Wander Franco, silver. Yeah, I mean, we have an established market over there, Thomas. We do a lot of hit packs daily when I'm on there at least. Do our little Jaspi hit pack run, repack product, do a bunch of personals there. But yeah, I mean, that's something we can talk about in the future. It's just, YouTube is just, for us, is known more. Known more for uh, the case breaking side for us. Instagram, we do pretty well over there. When it comes to personals. Alright, so, there was the first case, guys. Got some good colors in here. Some gold, some oranges. Royce Lewis. Auto. So we got that there. Um, so that was the first case. Let me kind of clean this up just a little bit. Save these for later oh that's right I think Topps Pro debut came out today now that's actually a good product to rip as a personal there Alright, now let me open up the next case. All right, same thing here, guys. I'm going to rip through the first six boxes here. And then we'll go to the next six. 
I am about 59 minute mark of my video. I'm probably killed like a, the first five, seven minutes of the video doing the randomizer and the getting the silver pack and whatnot. So maybe call it 10 minutes. So I probably did that case in about 50 minutes. So I'd assume all in, when it's all said and done, after doing the silver packs, doing a quick little recap of autographs, we'll be done by 10.30. So we'll be right on time. Probably not Rex. I haven't looked at the release calendar for November. Bowman's best? Maybe? Triple threats. Triple Threads is nice. You know, when you get those DECA booklets. All-star booklet patches, you know. Yeah, for me, out of all the Bowman products, I've always loved Bowman's best the most. You get like four autographs a box. It's a good mix of vets, you know, prospects, and stuff like that. I've always loved that. And then a little bit more higher end, but... I don't know whenever they're gonna release Dynasty, but Dynasty is also a very fun product. Tough to hit, but beautiful stuff there too. I wanna say we should be getting Definitive soon too. Let's, no, we haven't had Definitive yet, right? We've had Diamond Icons already, I think. But we should be getting uh, fairly soon NT Baseball and then Flawless Baseball after that, so. We're gonna get some pretty, pretty big products soon. We had definitive already. 
2022? Maybe we did. I only really remember down in Icon. But maybe you're right. I'm sure we did, probably did already, actually. Have we had Luminaries yet? 2022? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. You're right, you're right. I remember that, actually. Yeah, that Um, yeah, Rex, if yours wasn't numbered, it's probably a, a mistake. I don't know if you sold it already or not, but you should probably hit up tops. I think the triple autographs are numbered to 25 or less. That's right. Now I remember why I remember Definitive has been out is because... With the whole Randy or Rosarena and Meadows dual autographs, remember? Remember that whole controversy? So if you bought a, if you if you pulled one of those, you get a free box. Yeah, I remember that now. Really? I we have one of those in the store. 
I think it's number to 25. I think it's a White Sox triple autograph. Alrighty, here we go guys, first six of the second case, Tatis, Luis Gill to start us off, woohoo, alright Brandon, well, hopefully tomorrow buddy, have a good night man, John Gray, Too, buddy. I'll be live here at 2 o'clock tomorrow, so 5 Eastern, an hour earlier than normal. Angel Zerpa. Under Franco insert. Willie Castro. Lucas Giolito, White Sox. We got Ryan Glade, Colorado Rockies, Corey. And Juan Yipes. St. Louis. Chad with that one. And an orange, Ryan Jeffers. That is number three out of 25. Nice one, our Franco Refractor.
All right, next box. Another Wander Franco refractor. It's like three of them. Wander Franco insert. Is that a sign we're going to get him? Colton Welker. Seth Beer. And a little Trey Mancini for the Orioles going to Kevin. Number to 299. All right, next one here. Hater. O'Neill Cruz. Wow, that's like four Wander Franco refractors. Three in this case alone. You know, I've never been to Hobby Lobby, <laughs> to be honest. But yeah, you definitely gotta try to display that. Zach Short. For Detroit. Willie Castro. Altuve. You got Jake Myers purple speckle auto. For Houston to 299. Zach Paul. Nico Horner to fifty. Jansen Junk. Is it like a... It's not like a Michaels, right? Shane Bieber. It's 150. Nice water Franco there again. A little hyper. And Mike Trout. What a relic. That is uh, Angels and Shamanic. So it's like a Michaels but bigger. Okay, because when you said they always have like 50% off sales too, that kind of reminds me of Michaels. <laughs> Francisco Lindor, and that probably is a short print, right? Yep, short print, Francisco Lindor for the Mets. Uh, Mets is Sean Maddock. So there you go, we've got a short print on this side of the case. And a little Mitch Hanniger there for the 
Mariners to 299. Oh, who has the Mariners again? Bill Norton does this, right? Lou Bob. All right, here we go. Last box of the first six. Kevin Gossman. And Max Kranich. I don't know why this is backwards, but it's all bent. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just the base, though, I believe. We got Adam Frazier for the Mariners to 250. We got Matt Manning to 99. And a Jesse Winker. Not a short print. Luis Fries. Alonzo. Alrighty guys, here we go. Last six guys. You wanted to buy a gorilla costume for Halloween? I'm going to start to mess with people during the day. <laughs> Just, why do you want to do that for, Rex? We finally got it on Amazon. It's coming tomorrow. Nice. Yeah, I didn't get to... I wanted to go to Horror Nights with my wife's side of the family. We usually kind of go every year. Except last year, obviously. 2020, we couldn't go because of the pandemic. But a lot of her family members did end up going last week into Horror Nights. But... 
ended up being a little busy and I couldn't go, but yeah, I feel like I feel like Halloween is not really big for me anymore. I mean, it's different when you have kids, of course, but my wife is a pretty scary, scaredy cat when it comes to Halloween and stuff, so she hates horror movies and all that stuff, so I guess maybe that's why I kind of fallen out of Halloween. But when I was a kid, I loved Halloween. Always it was fun. She loves, obviously, Thanksgiving. She loves cooking. <laughs> and stuff like that, but... Uh, and then Christmas, of course, is our main holiday because we're born Christmas. I'm on Christmas Day. She's on the 26th. What up, French? High school golf match. I mean, she's down to see some stuff, Rex. Not a lot. We just we just seen the first two episodes of the Dahmer show on Netflix, and there was a lot of anxiety in the first episode. Honestly. But, uh... I mean, I still watch certain things by myself, if anything. Or my sister that likes that kind of stuff. Never was really into Chucky, Rex, honestly. Never was really into Chucky. When I was a kid, if there was one movie, one, you know, character that really scared me... Was Freddy Krueger. Now that... That dude was scared the crap out of me. I just remember watching him as a young kid and just... Dude, he's gonna get me my sleep. Like, you know, I couldn't go anywhere. So I had to, like, stay up all night. I did have a couple of scary dreams like that where he was literally about to kill me and, like, chase me. I was never afraid of Jason, of course, because I always thought his name is my name. We're cool. But Freddy Krueger is the one that actually used to get me all the time when I was a kid. And then I remember seeing, of course, like, you know, the original Exorcist and stuff. That was pretty scary, too, when I was a kid. As an adult, I think the one of my favorite horror movies, though, were, uh, one of my adult-like favorite movies, horror movies, have been those Insidious series. I don't know if you guys have seen them, but that is a trip. Insidious was a really, really good one, too. Um... If you haven't seen those Insidious movies, you definitely should. Oh, Thomas, for sure, man. Yeah, no. <laughs> I I, I want to say that there might have been a dream, too, where like I got sucked into my bed like Johnny Depp did. <laughs> but yeah, Freddy Krueger was definitely one of them for me. And as an adult, I really love those Insidious movies. I think as a teenager, Paranormal Activity was kind of a cool movie to watch. You know, shit like that, but... Definitely the Insidious ones. It's kind of like the idea that you can, like... Sleep, and then your, your like, soul leave your own body. And travel around, you know? And then the fact is that, like, uh, another spirit can, like... Take over your body if you kind of like, get lost. I don't know, it's pretty trippy. My nephew, my sister's son, well, my only nephew, actually, he loves Michael Myers. He he would watch, like, all those movies all the time. What up? Um, so, yeah, Saul was actually pretty good, too. Final Destination stuff was very trippy, too. I don't remember them too much, but I'm pretty sure I saw them when I was younger. But Saw ones are, yeah, those are, those are crazy. Honestly. <laughs> I want to play a 
game. Have you been to, have you ever done, Rex, uh, one of those, uh, one of those, uh, what do they call them? I did one at, uh, I did one at, uh, a couple years back at, uh, the Haunted Hayride. What are those ones called? Uh, like, ex escape rooms? Have you done one of those? I mean, basically the same thing, except obviously you're not gonna die, but... <laughs> Creep show? What about Jeepers Creepers? I actually seen that on regular TV the other day. Jeepers Creepers. The second movie wasn't bad either, actually, Rex. First one, of course, is obviously more iconic, but the second movie isn't bad either. It's like, what, like 47 years later or or 27 years later? He, he comes back, like, X amount of years later. And it's like the son is now the old man. I think after number two, like they they probably made more. I I think I think one and two are the only ones that kind of stay in like that plot line, I guess. Um, but number two actually wasn't bad either. Actually, number one, of course, is like you know what's the actor's name? Justin, uh, whatever his name is, um, with his sister, and then the second one, I believe, is like the football team with like the the cheerleading team or something like that. Oh, they're doing a fourth one? I've never seen the third one. I honestly, I've never seen the third one. But the second one was cool. Leprechaun in the Hood. I remember that. third one's about honestly i wouldn't care no more but is like the fourth one legit coming out like in theaters or are they dropping it like on a on a streaming network what, what is that one about like have they obviously it's the same thing but like what's their plot line though talking about jeepers creepers yeah they said they're coming out with a fourth one well there was I, i'm not really a big fan of the jeepers creepers movies but there was one where they were all on like a bus yeah that's number two <laughs> yeah <laughs> i like that one actually was really good i like that I one I, I have I don't even remember. I think he does, yeah. Is it coming out in theaters? No way. I gotta watch this. This is previous. Jeepers Creepers Reborn. That's something I'd watch again. That it was it was really I, those those first two movies are good. I liked them. Even better, I can watch it at home. <laughs> Even better. I can watch it at home. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll watch it at home. I think it was, Justin, yeah. Oh, is that why they're doing that? I guess that kind of makes sense. It's just so much easier now for like these like Prime, Netflix, Hulu, Peacock, like it's just so much easier for these like streaming apps to just drop movies now. Obviously, I think you probably make more money in theaters if the, if it is a good turnout, but for the most part, I feel like most people paying the subscription, of course, helps out a lot. Especially if it's exclusive and you have to like 
go like pay for a month of like of it and stuff like that. I didn't even realize those, uh, there was like the Lord of the Rings show on, on Prime. I think Joe said he watches that. I, I haven't seen that. Oh shit, Pizzle? Go watch it tonight for me and tell me if it's good to see or not. If I should waste my time on it. Maybe I'll watch it in Arizona. My in-laws. Anybody watch House of Dragon? This episode this weekend is going to be nuts. How's the fall leaping, Pizzle? Have you have you gotten some good autographs already? I've seen a clip of Dominguez getting his like second hit last night. Did that happen? All right, here we go, guys. Last six boxes, and then we'll go with the silver packs after. Lewis, not a rookie. Cutter Crawford. Well, I mean, he's still a young dude. I hope it works out for him, obviously. Good for the hobby, but... Hey, man, some people just don't got it, right? Once they get to that level. But I think the dude's still like 18 or 19 years old, so... I mean, can't count them out just yet, I guess. Under Franco. Oh yeah? Who who who? Who's decided to say no? You can't have my autograph, Pizzle. <laughs> Ah, that's probably why you hate him, Pizzle. You think he's garbage because he ain't signing for you, probably. <laughs> he's already caught on that his like super fracture sold for like four or five hundred thousand dollars, so he's probably like, yeah. To four ninety nine. Joey Votto for the Reds. Henry Davis is a douche as well. Come on, what, what, what's up with these first rounders over here overall? I mean, Dominguez was in a first round pick, but. Damn, man. Henry Davis don't want to sign either? Nice, Cal Rally. Hit another home run today. Where's Chad? The chat party too hard today? He's just not in the chat today? I would I would assume after all the the smack talking we did about the Mariners, he'd pop in here and say, What up? Come on chat, are you listening? Talk about that Mariners win. Eloy. That's just the base.
Get rid of your eyes. And Jorge Soler to 99. Yeah, I'm assuming you're talking to Rex, right, Pizzo? I don't even have my phone if you were talking to me. Actually, where's my phone? That's a good question. Oh, wait, you were talking to me. I don't have my phone, though. I can see the photo, though. Oh, well. I'll look at it after. I can see it on my watch. It's just I don't know where my phone's at. <laughs> I thought I had my phone here with me. I'll show it right now when I get my phone. Gavin Sheets. To 150. Wonder Franco. Scherzer at 350 got lit up today. I don't know. How, how does everybody feel? Are the Mets going to bounce back in game two with DeGrom? Isaiah Kiner Falafa. Another one or Frank Hopes. We've got like three or four refractors and a couple waves already. Wow, did he sign this for you, Pizzle? That's a pretty cool ball, first of all. He didn't sign his name on it, though, right? Some other grapher. So check this out, guys. Pizzle sent me this right now. You see Henry Davis on another autograph for like Pizzle at the Fall League wrote, "Stop using your kid for auto uh, for autos, please." <laughs> I wonder if you can verify that. So the guy must have handed on the baseball, and then that's what he wrote instead. <laughs> Mason Thompson. It's one ninety nine. That is pretty funny, actually. Altuve. To 50. Acuna. Yeah, a lot of people, obviously, that, that uh, Lars Nudbar, that, that video of Trout a few weeks back, the hotel when kids were just lining up to try to get his autograph like early in the morning. I mean, I get it. When someone like Trout doesn't sign for any kid, like, it's... It's like, you know, everybody just thinks, oh, what a horrible person. But, like, dude, 
I mean, you're, like, camping out where he's living, you know, or shit like that, you know? Like, I don't know. I don't feel like he's obligated to sign for every kid, you know? And who knows? What if, what if, what if it was like Pizzle, right? Some people take their kids, and it's not even for the kids. It's actually just for their parent, you know? So I just, like, I don't think they realize Trout does sign a lot for people, but it's just, like, the one video that surfaces of him denying a kid, everybody's just like, oh, what a horrible person. It's like, dude. Yeah, exactly. He signed so much. So it's like, I don't know. It's like a lose-lose situation for him. Griffin Jacks. And I think he actually told the kid sorry, not today, right? Is that what he said? Like, well, damn, man. Not today. All right, here we go. Last two boxes. But that's what I'm saying, Justin. It, it's probably not even for the kids. It's for the adult. You know? So it's like, if he denies it that one time, you know, you, we can't just assume that, you know, it, it, it's just, it's totally, like, you know, these, these baseball players know. Come on. Exactly. I'm saying, these, these people know. But... They see that in the in the news and in the social media. Everyone's just like, oh, man, Trout's horrible. Like, I got messages from some customers saying, man, Trout's a dick. Like, blah, blah, blah. And I'm just like, dude. <laughs> it's just because you see that video, right? It's like... Hell, it's a great strategy, Pizzle. It's a great strategy. <laughs> I mean, shit. Yeah, no, it's okay. I, I remember, Pizzle. I remember. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. Hey, it helps get the grass, right? But, I don't know. Francisco Perez. And I'm pretty sure, though, Pizzle, right, there's basically players that are cool as F and, like, are probably just humbled that even want their autographs where, like, they'll probably just sign as many baseballs and cards and magazines as, as, as people want, right? It's like you got to assume, like, some people literally know you, Joe Pizzle. Like, they're just like, you again, right? <laughs> I remember you. I remember you sent me a video like that one time. You went to go like ask for somebody. I don't even remember who it was, and they were like, "Oh, it's you." <laughs> Purple, Devers. Jeremy Marquez. To one, exactly. See, yeah, uh, Jordan Lawler knows Pizzle. I don't know what I called you up today. Oh, sorry. Did I pass one, Thomas? Sometimes is it a base auto? Usually, that's the first time I passed one in like since case number one. There it is. Sorry about that. Payne Henry.
I seen uh, you sent money for insurance, I assume. It was like 80 bucks. Yeah, don't worry. I'm sure that'll go out tomorrow, I assume. If you've been talking to us with uh, with the shipping team, I'm pretty sure. Or with support. I'm pretty sure that that should be good. So. I think you don't have to worry. I'll, I'll tell my wife right now once I'm done with this. Yeah, if they quoted you, once you send it, they'll, they'll see it and then... I'm sure it'll get bagged up, shipped out tomorrow morning. So yeah, you're good. Congratulations, man. That that's a huge Jordan right there, man. Alrighty, guys. And there you go, folks. Uh, I'll do a quick little autograph recap. All right, but these are all my colors here through both cases. All right, like I said, we got a lot of Wander Franco re refractors. So the Rays owner did pretty well when it came to that. A lot of colors here, of course. And then uh, here was the most recent autographs. Marlins, Nationals, Rays, Twins, Nationals, Sox. Cleveland Guardians, Mariners, McCormick for Houston, Carter Crawford. We got all of these right here. Fries, Frazier, Hanniger for Seattle, Mike Trout, Relic. Junk for the Angels, Myers for Houston, Short for Detroit, Mancini for Baltimore, Colton Welker, Jeffers, Orange to 25, Yubez, Delayed, Zerpa, Gill, Bender, Kirloff, Pop, Urias, Wendell. Deichman, Gill again, Brady Singer Gold, Strider, Woodruff, Stevenson Redemption, Re uh, Re Refractor, sorry, Valade, Ambergi, Ortega, Chisholm Blue, Royce Lewis, Brian Reynolds, uh, Orange, Berger, San Martin, Pop again, Verling, Musgrove, Fairchild, and Jackson Reeds. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, so, who, who doesn't, Steve? <laughs> All right. And then, of course, this is a uh, one per box silver pack. So we should have 24 here. I'll quickly count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24. All right, so there you go. We got 24 right here. Let's rip them. And then uh, we'll go through them. So, again, there's no guarantee. There's no guarantee that, of course, you know, we actually pull. We actually pull a short print. Although, I feel like Joe did get a couple in, the, in a couple of these picker teams. Uh, silver packs yesterday when he did them. Oh! Look, just show her the Jordan, baby. Uh, look at this. $5,600. But yes, if you're going to come to LA and, and be an LAX, like literally fly into LAX, I mean, we're, we're legit like four miles away. Like max. Really? Well, maybe he got lucky. If he hit six or seven, I mean, how many packs did we rip? H how many videos did he do, actually? I mean, he might only have done one. Um, how many picker teams did we do in that video? We did, like, what? One through eight? One through ten? Jumbo? Did he also do, like, hobby, too? I think we did a lot. Well, remember, this is extended base. I don't think it's like the super short prints where they were like one in every 20,000 packs. I'm, I'm assuming extended base rookies are not as super short printed as the others. Yes, don't go to that one, Thomas. 
They build another. They build another uh, in and out down Sepulveda, coming this way to, uh, to PCH and El Segundo. Which don't get me wrong, it's still, it's still, uh, it's still you know gonna be packed, but not as much as the one, not as much as the one in uh, LAX. All right, here we go. I mean, I'm kind of curious to see what those actually sell for. Cutchin, Biebs, Tim Anderson. Yeah, I mean, I look. They they have to fill in these kind of cards in these packs because. If not, you, you would you would know some packs would have nothing, <laughs> you know. It's like I said, they're still short printed base at the end of the day. None of these cards are actually the craziest value, so I mean it's not a big deal that these will go out to their teams. I think that's how everybody breaks it, but you know it, it doesn't mean that you still don't have a chance to pull a Julio if you have the Mariners or you know any other team. Odds are still there. It's just. You know, they they got to fill it up and fill it, fill up these packs with just base cards and silvers. Donaldson, Jeremy Marquez, and we might not even pull one here, guys. Shit. Verdugo, Noah, Fairchild. Uh, we're open every day, Monday through Saturday, uh, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Nolan Arenado. Michael Brantley. Tatis. Matt Manning. And yeah, I, don't, I didn't even get one. Unfortunately, no short prints here. So like I said, they're not they're not guaranteed in these packs. They're, they're gonna be there, it's just they're not guaranteed at every pack. Alright. So again, there you go folks, and we have one short print in here, Francisco Lindor. So appreciate it guys. This was the double header case break number three. We do have more, of course. You know, so I'm assuming Nick, if he hasn't already, he'll put up another one. So appreciate it guys. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.